okay now let me start with the next page number 70 see he slightly raised his right hand and bound at the wrist by the shining bracelet see he was bound to the right hand see he slightly raised his right hand bound at the wrist by the shining bracelet but here bracelet means handcuffs to the left one of his companion the the glad look in the girl's eyes slowly changed to a bewildered horror glad look the girl was happy to recognize him but soon her happiness went away and turned into unknown fear okay so glad look into the girl's eyes slowly changed to bewildered surprise horror the glow faded from her cheeks her lips parted in a vague relaxing distress okay she was quite dumbstruck she was quite surprised to see him handcuffed to an, an another man eastern with a little laugh amused was about to speak again when the other forestalled him the other man the man sitting next to him stopped him the glum faced man the man who was glum faced means uh, uh, quite rough roughly built looking upset okay the glum faced man had been watching the girls countenance but a face the girl's face with the veiled glances from his keen shrewd eyes the other man sitting near to mr easton was kept watching the girl now you will excuse me for speaking miss but i see you are acquainted with the marshal here now but i hear the other man the glum looking man introduced him and he said that he interrupted both of them and said that she knew the marshal she must knew the marshal mr easton he introduced that mr easton uh, was a marshal marshal but i means police officer clear if you will ask him to speak a word a word for me when we get to the pen he will do it if make things easier for me there he's taking me to 11th worth prison it's seven a year for counterfeiting now finally what happened here the girl miss fairchild was quite surprised to see mr easton handcuffed to another man the another man the glum looking man interrupted and introduced that mr easton is a marshal a police officer officer and he had caught him he had caught him for but a counterfeiting he had caught glum looking man for drafting fraud papers are you clear but here counterfeiting means drafting uh, fake papers fraud fraud okay so here oh said the girl with a deep breath and returning color finally the girl felt relieved that mr easton is not a criminal but actually a marshal a police officer so that is what you are doing out here a marshal you are a marshal now a police officer my dear miss fairchild sir easton calmly i had to do something he had to do something everyone every one of us uh, should do something to earn money we should work hard to you know uh, earn our livelihood the same is with him i had to do something money has a way of taking wings unto itself and you know it takes money to keep step with our crowd in Washington if you want to live in Washington you have to work hard because money doesn't grow its wing on its own you have to earn money so I saw this opening in the West and well a uh, um, marshalship isn't quite uh, as high a position as that of ambassador but number no here mr. Eastern is telling uh, is describing her how he had become a marshal he had to earn money to uh, earn his livelihood and that had made him to enter into marshalship then better come the ambassador said the girl warmly he doesn't call anymore he need not like he better here he said that this uh, the job of a marshal is not quite same as a, as of an ambassador okay now the ambassador said the girl warmly doesn't call anymore he need not ever have done so you ought to know that and so now you are one of these dashing western heroes 
clear and you write and shoot and go into all kinds of dangers okay she 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 you know uh, now understood that this man is a marshal and is is really like a hero who run after criminals and given here write and shoot and go into all kind of danger they face all kind of dangers that's different from the washington life you have been missed from the old crowd you you had not been like that but really you have been missed from the old crowd are you clear the girl eyes fascinated went back widening a little to rest upon the glittering handcuff she kept on looking at the handcuffs which was quite awkward to her